today I've decided to do a makeup look using only Daiso makeup products. I'm a little bit scared, not gonna lie. I didn't buy any makeup tools from Daiso, but to make sure that I'm keeping it affordable, I'm gonna use these brushes that I got on eBay. They're a dollar each. I didn't buy any Daiso primer. I was going to, I had it in my hand and it looked quite terrifying. So I've just moisturized my skin today. I'm not gonna do any priming. So the first thing I'm gonna use is this Daiso BB Cream. From memory, there were only two colors to choose from. There was no tester, obviously. I've chosen beige. So let's see how we go. I hope I don't break out into a big giant pimple. So this is called the Skin Complete BB. I actually think this was the darker of the two colors as well. So that's already a problem, but I'll try and warm it up somehow. I have to say I'm pretty impressed. I expected it to have a terrible chemical smell. That's not a problem so far. Oh god, this is way too light. Obviously not my colour and very little coverage, but not a terrible start. So at the day so that I was at, there was no concealer. So this is probably going to be the best coverage that we're going to get. I managed to find this contouring kit but it's specifically for the nose it's called a nose shadow shadow and highlight so as you can see it's half like white and half brown shit i'm a little bit scared i'm just going to use the tiniest amount of the white powder and put it under my eyes just to kind of attempt to highlight something i'm just going to use the it's like a bronzy color to do a bit of contouring and I have to say this brush is not very good so far. The colour is not terrible. So we're just going to pretend that amazing contouring is going to disguise the fact that I have no concealer. I have to say this is not bad. I'm just going to use the same to slightly contour my nose. Considering I haven't powdered my face, it blends in pretty well. I like to contour in here because I have wooded eyes. So the next thing I bought from Daiso was an eyebrow pencil. It's just called eyebrow pencil and this is in the colour dark brown. So we'll see. Often browns tend to turn out really red on my skin tone. But we'll see how we go. It's got a spoolie on one end and it's got the brow colour on the other end. It's pretty sharp which is kind of cool. Okay, it is a little red like I expected, but the colour comes out alright. If you didn't mind a reddish tone, it's not terrible. And I have to say for $2.80, it's not a bad product. I've used more expensive brow pencils that don't work half as well. The next thing I have is an eyeshadow palette. I have no idea about how this is going to work out. This is called the Elifa Princess Chiffon Shadow. Sounds really fancy. It's actually in very cute packaging. There's like roses all around the edge, which I kind of like. It's got this thing, which... And the colours are actually pretty nice. I don't mind that... Um... Ooh. That's not bad, actually. It's like a khaki colour. And there's a goldish colour there. Um... It's like a silvery white and like a gunmetal colour. The pigment's not that bad, but we'll have to see how it goes with brushes. Before I go into the eyeshadow, I think what I'm going to do is use the brown from this nose contouring kit as my transition shade. I did contour a little bit, but I want to do a little bit more. So I'm going to start with my favourite one, I think, which is the green. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I'm just going to go all over the lid. That pigment is pretty good and I've not re-dipped the brush. Wow, I'm really happy with that, honestly. I'll go underneath. Going with the brown again, soften that out a bit. Okay, I'm going to go in with the dark colour and just darken up the outer corner. Just pat a little bit on there. And finally, I'm going to go into the inner corner with the gold. Yeah, that one didn't have as much pigment. 
The next thing I bought, which I'm a little bit scared to use, is this liquid liner called Velvet Eyeliner. It's kind of cute packaging. And it's silver. It says it's very black. And when I pull it out up here, it's not very black. It kind of looks a bit like a silvery brown. But anyway, the tip's actually quite nice. It's sturdy. It's not going to give me a thin line. So, and I'm not the best at liner on myself. We're going to have to see how we go. It's weird. There's like glitter or something bubbly. Oh yeah, now I've got glitter caught in my eyelashes. There's definitely glitter in here. Interesting. Anyway, I forgot that I bought this thing. This is an express eyeshadow pen. I thought I might just dab this in the inner corner. So it looks like this. So it's meant to be gold and it kind of comes out like a bronze. It's not terrible, but I don't think it'll suit the inner corner. Oh yeah. That works. Next, I've got some mascara. Hopefully I don't lose an eye. Uh, this is called the Double Faced Rubber Brush. And I think it's for top and bottom lashes. So that's cool. And I bought black. Yes, so you've got the top bristles are longer and underneath you have short bristles. If you can see that, hopefully you can. Yeah, I don't really know what to say about it. Kind of feels harsh, the brush, but if you're careful, the thinner end, the little end, is actually really good for the bottom lashes. It's kind of handy actually to have the two on the one brush. To have a brush that has the two in one, I actually think is a pretty smart idea. I don't hate this. The next thing I have is a duo color cheek kit and it's one side looks like a blush, the other side looks like a highlighter. Uh, it's called the Elifa Princess Duo Color Cheek and it's in the color orange. Looks like that. Not bad. And it comes with this little brush, which to be honest with you, I wouldn't use. There's like 50 billion bristles falling off it already. So that's just going to go. And I'm going to use this fairly soft one of my unicorn brushes oh <gasps> okay it's very it's very pigmented that is a pretty amazingly pigmented color then the other color it doesn't say it's meant to be a highlighter so i'm gonna just assume that it is oh that is not bad at all that liner is transferring all over my lid so don't get it but this highlighter is cute it's pretty glittery but the glitter is fine so that's all right last thing i have is a lipstick it's cute packaging and the color is cherry blossom this is probably not going to go with the rest of my look um, the color is a very rosy pink which i never wear but it was the only colour. Oh yeah. It's kind of cute actually. Ooh, it's creamy. So the colour is not my colour, but it's not bad to be honest. Yeah, I kind of look like a clam right now. I'm totally aware of that. But I feel like this is the type of um, lipstick and I see that in a lot of Asian makeup, actually, that it's not about really defining, having a really defined line. I feel like it's meant to be more diffused. And for that, this is great. Um, it's not how I wear lipstick, but it's a nice formula. The packaging is kind of cute. I actually really like this. I like it. I kind of wish it came in more colours, something a bit warmer for me. I would wear it just to keep my lips feeling hydrated etc but not bad so this is the final makeup look i'm not going to put on lashes or anything like that um this makeup's not staying on very long let's be honest but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i think some of the products are okay if you're in the market for something really cheap i would definitely contemplate the eyeshadows and the mascara they're probably the two that stood out for me the most 
Um, the blush and the highlighter little palette was fine. But yeah, overall, kind of created a bit of a disaster on my face. I think that that also has something to do with the BB cream and the fact that I have no coverage over any blemishes. So I kind of look just a little bit sick with a whole bunch of color. Um, but yeah, that's the final look. Please like this video if you did and subscribe to my channel for more videos like it and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!